So today we're taking a look at this bird feeder. The cool thing about this one is it has a built-in camera, a 1080p camera. It has a 5200 milliamp battery, runs off a solar panel. So when the birds come up, we can video them and we can identify the kinds of birds that are in our area. Let's get this opened up and see what's in the box. Have our AI bird feeder quick guide tells us what's in the box and uh, how to get this thing set up. Camera structure has the camera right here. Let's get further into it and check it out. Set up with Vika Home app. Looks like you have a QR code that you can scan on your phone. A template from our solar panels here. So this will plug into the camera from our perch. It's like our mounting hardware, it comes with some hose clamp, a strap, and a cord, and uh, some bolts. Depends on how you're going to mount it. Looks like it has a variety of mounting possibilities here. And our bird feeder itself. We'll put the feed in here, and it'll come out right here. And here's our camera. It's like our cord will plug in right here, USB-C type cord. Looking right here, that should get the camera going. All right, let's see if we can get this thing put together. This camera even has a microphone according to the directions here. There's a status light, and per perch, we already went over that, the lens of the camera, LED, infrared, spotlight, has a spotlight on it, I guess for nighttime. You turn this at an angle. Looks like it has a built-in speaker as well, according to the manual here. Looks like on the top, we have a USB charging port. Okay, so we have a port on the back and a port on the top of the camera. Okay, if you open this rubber flap, there's a spot for a SD card. You can put an SD card in here as well. The reset button. Make sure you get this rubber back on there good because uh, you want to keep the water out of it. This is IP65 rated, by the way. All right, let's get our roof put on here. You notice it has little tips that stick out there and they go in these little grooves right here so take this put it turn it where you can see it take those little tips right there and put them right in those little grooves or hinges whatever you want to call it get them lined up press it down back here it has a catch and the latch right there slide that down pop it into place voila i've already had that sitting on there but It'll just go like right here, and we'll put our screw in right there. Get our perch screw out here. We'll just dump this stuff in this box right here. It'll be this little blue one right here. Put it in right there. Put it on there. Sorry about the air conditioner noise. It's uh, Texas. It's a little hot out here, even at 11:25 a.m. Okay, battery charging. The batteries inside the camera are not fully charged according to the transportation safety regulations. Please fully charge the camera before using it. Please charge the batteries with provided type C port cable. So we'll have to plug our USB cord into a power outlet. You can use a power block like for your phone, stuff like that. Or you could use a USB port on your computer or a power bank. See what else we have here. I was kind of wondering about this, but further in the steps, it's talking about you're gonna mount this onto your wall or tree or wherever you're gonna put it and however you're gonna put it, whether it's with the hose clamps, the strap, if you're gonna put it on a tree, you can run the strap through these slots right here. However you're gonna do it. And then we will flip this over and this will slide in and lock into place. If you have this mounted up on the wall, you just take it and slide this inside there and then push it on back and lock it into place. Did it click? And then it'll be there. Let's go get this charged up and while it's charging, I'm gonna go get some bird food. Check back with y'all in a few moments. All right, we got some charge on this and I'm ready to go, except there's one more step. We have to put the app on our phone. So 
I want to go in here, flip this little rubber flap open. It's going to be hard to see on the camera, but inside you will see it. On the right hand side, there is a power button. Turn your power on. Go ahead and remove this cover here. I believe we have power. Yeah, we have a little blue light flashing right there. Okay, we'll go ahead. Remember, you can put a SD card in this too. I just don't have one yet. So we are going to get the app installed. Let's go through these steps. All right, you want to get your phone. This one has a QR code. You can scan that. You want to open your camera, get your QR code. We will hit that. Next, we want to install the app. All right, let's hit open. Hit the agree and continue. Device management, manage multiple devices more easily. We'll just scroll to the left this way. Get started now. Sign up for a new account. Select your country, which for me is the United States. You put your email address in. Click the I understand and agree. Next step. If you want to share the device, please make sure the user administration and secondary user and are registered in the same country. Okay, there we go. We'll go to the next step. Should send you a verification code, so check your email, copy that, or if you can remember it, that would be great. 75, enter a password. You gotta use one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and one number. You must have at least eight characters. We'll enter a username. Congratulations, you have successfully registered. Please add device. Okay, now we want to hit add new device now. We got it powered on. I heard the sound. Yeah, we've been hearing the sound. Next step, if you hadn't already turned it on, that's where you turn it on. We'll allow. And we have it. We'll click that and enter your Wi-Fi password. Confirm it and hit connect. We'll hit connect. And it says it is connected. New device is found. Register it to the cloud service. Connection succeeded. Connection succeeded. Location, let's edit that and put uh, tree. And that is where we are going to put it. So next step, signal strength is strong. Assemble the bird feeder. We've already done that. Vico home to send you notifications. I really, uh, I don't really want the notifications. That's your choice. We've already assembled it. No thanks. Enable notifications. We'll enable now. Again, there we are. Connecting to the camera. And we are connected. Is it our hand? We'll, we'll wave. Little birdie. Gonna eat. <laughs> Alright, let's go get this put up on the tree and see. Oh, we gotta put some bird feed in here. Let's get some bird feed in here. Then we'll go get it put up on the tree. Let's see, you can press to speak while using the app. Oop, turn the sound on. Hello, 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 hello. Getting a little echo there. I guess you want to talk to the birds? I don't know. But anyway, or say, get away squirrel, whatever your case may be. Anyway. Let's go get this mounted up on the tree after we get some bird feed in it and see what there is to see. All right, we got our bird seed. We'll push this little release button back here and pull the tab. Oh, we need to get that where we can 
Well, I guess we need to plug in our solar panel so we can keep that battery charged. Anyway, we will pour our bird feed right in here. Whatever kind of bird feed you want to use, that's up to you. I just went to the store and got these. This kind, I don't know if it's good. I really don't know, but that should be adequate for now. All right, make sure you get your solar panel plugged in right here. That way it keeps the battery charged. And uh, I'm going to go mount our mounting bracket on a tree and we will go from there. You wanna come along? Get our strap here. Okay, now let's get this strap on here. All right, let's get our bird feeder up here. I just discovered a couple of things on the app that went over in just a minute. Let's get this put on here, push it back. So it locks into place. It's kind of leaning, isn't it? Eh, maybe the birds won't mind. Make sure it ain't gonna fall. That should be good. There we go. Let's go over some of the things on the app, but let's go back inside where it's cool. Let's go back inside where I'll be cool. Y'all should be cool already. I know you're cool. Anyway, let's go back inside. Actually, we haven't been inside yet, have we? Y'all come on, I'm going inside. <laughs> Okay, there was a couple of things on that app that I wanted to go over, so it's connecting right now. But it'll be in your settings. Go ahead and get this connected. Okay, now we're connected. We want to go into your settings. And I went ahead and put an SD card in here so it could record. Now you format your SD card and all that. Uh, motion detection, make sure you turn that on. I put it on low on the sensitivity right now but I really don't know if that's where we need it. Let me turn that light off, it's probably causing a glare. I'm not real sure how that's gonna work, but uh, anyway, that's where I set it. Notification settings, when you go to record or take a picture, it's gonna prompt you for uh, allowing the camera and video camera to work. And you'll have to go in there and, uh, and allow that. I can't get back in there and it'll be, it'll be permissions anyway. So you can go in there and allow your camera and video permissions. You don't have to allow your notifications, but you have to allow your camera and your video so you can get recording. That was the main thing I was wanting to go over. And it, it's really pretty cool. You just hit play and it'll connect. Here at my particular location, it's taken a minute to connect, but as you see, it connects. And if you want to record, push the camera button and it will start recording. And if you want to just take a picture, highlight it and take a picture. The minute image was, has been saved to your photo album. And you can go into your album on your phone and you can click the library down here. But see, it's saving to my phone. Just go into gallery and there you go. I just wanted to go over those real quick because that's kind of important stuff. And it'll get you where you can see what's out there eating your bird feed. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all, happy bird watching.